Good afternoon everyone, Country Flyboy here, and today flight planning tutorial for the 757. This will be the flight planning tutorial, how to use my um, 757 payload mod with the uh, edits by Sean Zarella and Paul Talley's CFG file, or CFG file, um, Excel file here with the payload mod and flight planning with it. So. Real quick, I'm going to start the stopwatch. This will show you just how quick we can actually do a flight plan here. So that's going. I'm going to fill in my flight details. We're going to be Delta 8502 from Atlanta to Jacksonville. Give Sembrief a second to collect the info on that. Alternate's going to be Orlando. Uh, that's a good alternate. Uh, that'll be today. It is currently 2000 Zulu. So we will set this for 2100 Zulu. So an hour from now will be our departure time. This is going to be the 757-200. Take note. Um, we'll select the more options here. Take note. Sim briefs operational empty weight for the 757-200 matches our um, Excel spreadsheet. So Sim Brief's OEW is 132500 and our Excel and our mods OEW is 132500. That's done on purpose. If you have modified your aircraft here with a different one, make sure to select the airframe from there. Uh, we'll set our cruise profile to auto. At time of recording, Sim Brief does not support uh, cost index flight planning for the 757-200. Hopefully that will change in the future, but yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, we can set the fuel factor to zero. Uh, see time and route. I'm gonna set to one hour fifteen minutes. We'll depart runway two seven right and arrive runway eight. Uh, Thirty minute taxi out time. Ten minute taxi in time. No extra fuel needed. We'll leave altitude set to auto. Now this is important. Now we need to open the Excel document and select our passenger load. We can have full, half, empty, or manual. We'll go with the manual. We'll add 500 pounds of cargo, so 500 mail and 500 freight, so 1,000 pounds of cargo. Uh, so that gives us a zero fuel weight of 172.3. So take note of our passenger count, 169. Second. Manual. Yeah, 169 is our passenger count. And our cargo is 1,000, 1.0. So we will enter passenger count here, 169, and cargo 1,000 pounds. Take note that that's additional cargo. That does not include passenger baggage because SimBrief, just like our spreadsheet, calculates passenger baggage automatically. Uh, we'll select auto, zero fuel weight. We can leave captain and pilot ID as is. Uh, we'll select our route, Punnett 7, Macon, Deducci, Oda 1 is the current route being used as noted by Flyware. There's these three routes here, Punnett 7, Macon, Deducci, Oda 1 is the current route in use, so we will analyze that. I hope it works. Okay, it is valid for my selected uh, nav data cycle. Here's the route here, what we can see, and or there's our alternate way down there. All right, so last is we'll just select the Delta Airlines format. Pounds will be our units. Contingency fuel will lead to auto. 45-minute reserve fuel since it's a daylight flight. We want detailed nav log. No ETOPS planning required. No step plans required. Runway analysis doesn't work. And we will not include the NOTAMs or the maps for this example. All right, so we'll now generate the operational flight plan. Just wait on SimBrief to process it while I get a drink. Recording, it just takes the takes the breath out of you. All right, it's done. All right. So what we need immediately from our operational flight plan is the fuel load. So we'll get a load here. We can look at all this. But what we really need to come down to is down here, we can see the uh, paperwork preview, as I call it. We need the taxi out fuel, which is 3,000. Trip is 7127. So we will, I'm going to uh, just sort of window that real quick. Block fuel is 
21028. 21028. Trip fuel is 7127, 7,127. And taxi out fuel is 3,000 pounds. So you can see I entered those numbers here. And we can look at all our fun stuff. We're well below max zero fuel weight, well below max landing weight, and takeoff weight is also below max landing weight. That's important to note. And we'll need 72.1% of the fuel tanks loaded in each wing tank. Alrighty, so we're now done with this. We'll go back to here, and I'm just going to real quick uh, view this as a PDF. Alrighty, here. Now I'm going to go to load instructions, and we're going to fill out the details. We're Delta 8502. Our tail number was, if it's on here, is it on here? I don't think it's on here. Um, what was it? It's on here somewhere. I know it is. Ships 537. Uh, Tail number 537 Sierra Bravo. Okay. So we'll enter the tail number November 537 Sierra Bravo. Ship number was 537. Okay, all that looks good. I'm not going to do any deviations, so I won't worry with that. Um, we're Atlanta, the Jacks, 8502, ship 537 Sierra Bravo. All that's good. We'll enter a dispatcher name. Put my name and just an ID number there. That's just a bunch of random numbers I hit. Uh, I'm not going to put anything in the captain's notes section. Uh, you can put the route here if you want. Some load sheets do have the route on them. I personally don't. Okay, so we'll look at the trim sheet, just get an idea of what's going on. Okay. All right, I'm going to... Pause. You can see we're, we're done with flight planning now. All the paperwork is printed and ready. So we were able to completely plan that flight for the 757 in seven minutes. So in less than 10 minutes with this Excel spreadsheet and with SimBrief, we got the flight plan done. All right, so let me just organize them here. This is the operational flight plan from SimBrief. This is the load instruction sheet. This is the load sheet and the... Load and trim sheet right here. Alrighty. So, let's look at the operational flight plan. Uh, in truth, we want to note that the weights match what we got from the Excel spreadsheet. So, real quick, we'll look. Um, initial cost index is Mach 0.8. Uh, quick note, since uh, SimBrief doesn't currently support cost index flight planning for the 757, um, you need to enter a cost index of 71 or 72. That's the cruise profile that SimBrief uses for the 757 by default. That'll get you the Mach 0.8 uh, cruise rate. Uh, so SimBrief has planned us for flight level 350, winds and all that fun stuff. There's a bug flying in front of my face. Go away. Alrighty, so... What we need to look at right here is zero fuel weight to make sure. If zero fuel weight matches, then all the other weights should match. All right, so zero fuel weight is 172.3. We will lo look at the load sheet now, 172.3. So they match. So as you can see, we'll go back to the operational flight plan. <laughs> there is our, um, there's our OFP. There's the wind forecast. Fuel plan. Here's the uh, dispatcher notes, nav log, and weather report. So that's the OFP. All right, load sheet. If I zoom it out a bit, so here's the load sheet. All the weights match. Everything's good to go here. We'll look at the trim sheet, and we'll look at the load instructions. So now, in less than 10 minutes, we have completely planned a flight. We've gotten all the paperwork that we need, including a load sheet and load and trim. So we are now ready to go. Now, keep in mind, SimBrief is capable of so much more. I only did the bare basic uh, flight plan stuff here. I could have it show routes. It can do ETOPS planning and all that fun stuff, too. Uh, the only thing it's really missing right now is cost index flight planning for its uh, airplanes. Not all airplanes have it. 
yet. He is working on it, though. So as you can see, we really quickly planned a flight. Um, basically, so to reiterate, all you really need to do to get the flight plan done is load this first and decide on your passenger count and cargo load. Uh, go to SimBrief or FS Build or Pro Flight Planner or whatever your preferred flight planner is um, for flight planning and flight simulator and make sure the weights match. Uh, this this mod was designed with SimBrief and FS Build in mind, but it should work with pretty much any other flight planner out there that is worth a damn. And get your operational flight plan ready. Then take the fuel burn info from the operational flight plan and plop it down right in here. And just fill out the... Uh, flight details with the load instructions and load sheet, PDF them, send them to your iPad or other tablet, or print them, and you are good to go. The flight plan was done in less than 10 minutes, and that's good. And take note, you did not have to start Flight Simulator or anything like that to connect a program and get weight information. All this was done before you even had to start Flight Sim. So you got your paperwork printed, start up Flight Sim, launch the flight, and go. So I like that. I like uh, not worrying with my flights. I don't normally do dispatch until an hour before the flight, so this capability is going to be nice. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.